Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited you decided to click on and join along on this beautiful series. I just want to say first off, thank you. I've been feeling a ton of gratitude recently for all the love and support on these recent videos. And honestly, it's thanks to you guys that I'm even able to do this for fun in my life. Um, you know, it's we're still a small channel and we're growing a lot. Uh, but it still feels like it's it's this like tight knit community and I'm forever, forever grateful. In today's video, we have a lot to get done. And by a lot, I mean a lot. Uh, we have recently decided that this will be our home for a number of reasons. One being we're surrounded by mines, so resources will be very easily accessible. We have many different biomes between all these different places. We have forest area over here, this area here, some dolphins with the ocean lake biome here, caves, snow, and so, so, so much more. Today's episode is, is a big one because we got to get it done. This is all we have as far as resources for longevity goes. And a lot of you guys have commented in the last video that I made a few mistakes with killing some cows. So walking into this video, I was kind of terrified because yes, we have full iron armor, but I'm tossed up between A figuring out what to do with this area and building up here in the potential of losing it all because I don't have full diamond armor. And so I was deciding and I was kind of stagnant in this whole thing of, okay, do I take this episode to go find diamond and really build that side up? Or do I take some time and really build up the, the home here and start building resources like cows and chickens that would make everything more sustainable? And I think the best option that came from my thinking was to explore some of these mines back here because we are really close to some danger uh, that I didn't realize in, in the previous episode. Literally, just hello, we're all right here um, next to the base. So we're going to clear out some danger, get a few iron to get a bucket, and then start planting some of the seeds we have, go get some cows, and start building it up like that. If we're lucky, this episode will get to actually building a home but I don't want to promise anything because I want this first home to be one that we remember forever because it is the first episode or the, the third episode of the first hardcore series ever on this channel. How, you know, why would I want to ruin it? And why would I not want the, oh gosh, two Endermen already? I don't like this. What am I doing? Why did I decide to do hardcore? Survival's so chill. Oh my gosh. Okay. I just need a little bit of iron. A little bit of iron. All right. Hey, spider. Go away. Go away. Go away. Thank you very much. We'll take that. And we'll keep on lighting up the area. Don't mind me. Just, just spawn safing my entire existence right now. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. Even more. Okay. We might not need to go as deep as we were before. Anything else in there? No. Perfect. So we got two iron here. Let's see. You're going to give us a good pocket here. Two more. I'd like to just get a few more because, you know, we want to have some extra between iron, uh, you know, tools. I want to get all of that sorted as well as an extra axe in case this one breaks because of how much of the mobs we're clearing recently. Um, we're going to skip coal for now. We have over a stack and we can always come back for more. So don't worry. I'm not going to force you into a coal mining simulator right now. But that will be a future episode. So. Oh my gosh, we have lava. This is beautiful. All right. I didn't even know we were this close to lava either. So we could create everything we need right now. I'm going to... Hopefully nothing's going to jump over here and notice that I'm even here. All right. Two Endermen. And this creeper has noticed me. We can talk this one through, man. Like, I feel like mobs these days just, they're all aggressive. You know, we, we could talk things through. What happened to the days of being able to communicate? Oh, jeez. I just jumped out of my, I need to stop talking and start playing. I'm out of, out of coal, out of torches. I'm getting shot at. I'm stressing out. Are you still chasing me? Oh my gosh. You're still chasing. All right, I'll take you on. Don't mind me. 
Perfect. Easy mode. Oh no, did I just look at an Enderman? <sighs> Alright. I need to stop stressing. I can I can do this. Uh let's get some more sticks, some more coal going. We'll get a stack of this stuff. Perfect. And we'll keep on moving here. Let's spawn proof this area. I can't believe we haven't yet. It's all the journey, right? All part of the journey. So I'm trying to decide if I want to just like sweep the caves to the right and then come back around. Or if I want to kind of do this fashion where I just like slowly work through everything. My only fear are these guys right here. And I don't see them despawning anytime soon. So we might just want to try to get some ender eyes through this. Am I going to throw or not? Moment of truth is here. Pretty sure I'm safe right here. Let's see. What have I done? What have I done? Okay. Hey, we're good. Oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. Could have been very bad. All right, come on over here. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. We're going to take care of this. You coming? Oh, uh, where are you? Where'd you go? Hey, bud. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's just heal up. We can take this casually here. Hey, bud. Come get you some. I hope that's not too, too rough on your ears. If it is, let me know in the comments. Also, just want to say, if you've made it this far into the video, um, consider liking and subscribing. I'm trying to figure out this algorithm stuff, and so I'm going to just ask to see if we can reach 100 likes, because I don't think we've done that yet on a video. Um, so support me if you can, and then while you're there, there's a nice red button waiting you, uh, waiting your approval. So let me know if you, if you see that one. Anyways... I know I said this isn't going to be coal simulator, but I can't pass it up, okay? We're just going to take a moment. We're going to take a moment here to breathe together. You know, this morning I, I found the good side of TikTok today. Um, I've been like kind of getting more into social media, of course, with YouTube being a huge passion of mine. I'm getting back into all the stuff and I'm really trying to curate my feed to exactly what I want. And TikTok has proved to be the hardest out of all of them to really curate. But I think I've found it. Uh, it's like this like deep talk kind of like spiritual TikTok that like really just sets me into the mood of like being present with myself. And so I, I, I even wrote a poem this morning um, that I just that was inspired by by my TikTok viewing. And I'm kind of like really happy that. Oh, no. We have two. Hold on. I'll talk more in a second. I'm stressing. All right. Um, but yeah, I, I wrote just like a poem that really reminds me of of the importance of enjoying life and enjoying the experience that we have here and choosing, you know, where to put our energies and, and resources and time because, you know, life is so precious. It's so short and we have to really focus on what fuels us, what really drives us. And so... You know, that's why I quit my work to just focus on YouTube for three years. I had something amazing going uh, with with my career. And I, it's it's a discussion that, you know, progression in life isn't linear at all. Um, we need to get out of this mindset that we've, um, you know, been placed into by the people that care about us in life. And because of that care, um, you know, they're, they're kind of incentivized to push us to do the things that that are safe for us you know get the job that that pays well and and live that lifestyle and everything else at least this is the western mentality speaking um but you know consider taking a step back and looking at really what you want because i promise you the 60 70 80 40 years left we have on this planet you and i um we can choose to make the most out of it or we can choose to live out of fear and do the things that are societally seen as respectful to ourselves or whatever we want to call that, like good or productive. And I just can't stand for it anymore. So I'm grateful I took the time to learn that that's not what I wanted to do with my life. Um, and I'm grateful that I took the leap of faith and said, you know what, I'm going to do YouTube. 
I'm going to do it because this is what fuels me. This is what um, drives me to enjoy my day-to-day -day life. And that balance of being able to speak to people and inspire, hopefully inspire people and everything else comes from just doing it, you know? So this has been an amazing journey so far and it's only the start. And I'm so grateful that you're along with me on this ride because it makes it so much better not being alone, you know? Hello, Creeper. All right, we're out of here. I think we've done enough in the mines. Our hands hurt. Our arms ache. It's time to build up the main area. We've spawn proofed this area a little bit, so I'm feeling a bit better. Obviously, it's not perfect. Um, and I'll just do a little bit more over here. It's not perfect, right? But we're not aiming for perfect. We're aiming for... Okay, we can't just pass this iron up. We're not aiming for perfect. We're just aiming to get the job done right now, and then we'll come back and perfect it later. But imagine a whole build throughout this entire area using the landscape with these pillars, with everything going on. Um, we, we're going to have such a cool build at the end of the day, but it's important to remember baby steps. We got to first get to the point where we won't die, and that will be a hard one considering that Enderman hit took four hearts. So we are one bad move away from really taking it. And taking it bad. Um, let's come through here real quick. Didn't see this as a place, but always good to know that we have an abundance of coal nearby. We could always make charcoal with, with wood and, and stuff like that, but that's not fun. Why would we want to do that? We need wood for builds. You know what I'm saying? So if I did this correctly over here, we should be able to sleep. It is nighttime. And uh, yesterday... At the time of this recording, the solar eclipse happened in the U.S., and that was a really cool experience to see. I don't know if you guys saw any of the the um, the shadows on the ground. I mean, if you had the the goggles or the the sunglasses, you obviously, hopefully, saw the eclipse. But I mean, the shadows on the ground were really cool. I'll try to put a photo in here if I remember at the end of the day when I'm editing. Um, of like just the shadow that I saw because it's it's like this crescent moon, you know? Really cool stuff. Okay, so we have enough iron. Let's get rafting. We need to remember that we need a new iron axe, obviously. We need a bucket, which just will take one more iron and then we can start. Why is there an Enderman all the way out there, dude? What's going on? I'm not going to look at you. In broad daylight? That's some crazy stuff right there, man. That Enderman is not okay. Oh, okay, he's teleporting now. You know, I'm just going to chill over here. We don't need to mess with that. You know, we could we could just make it all work. Let's get a bucket going. Get some water going. Beautiful. And now let's just start our temporary farm. I think we should probably just... Honestly, this could be a cool area for a farm. Right now. So maybe we do that. I feel like this could be really good to just keep our animals around here. Maybe the backside here is our farm. Because there's a cave here. I, I really want to reserve this spot for the house. Um, so I guess maybe here here would be fine. Let's let's make a wooden hoe or something of that nature. We'll make an iron one. I feel like we deserve it, you know? And uh, now we'll also make a shovel. Look at this. We're getting all of our resources taken care of. Normally, I don't make a shovel. I don't know. Do you guys always make a shovel? I feel like my life would be so much more productive if I always did, but I just don't find the need sometimes. I just take the extra second to mine it. But let's get it done. So we have, let's do just a very resource respectful farm. So we'll place water here and then we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we can expand these quite a bit. Let's make sure that we're able to place this still here. And uh, believe we could actually go four out. So we might want to expand this a little bit, or we don't, and we just stay, you know, satisfied with what we do have. 
So I believe one, two, three. We could go one more out. Uh oh my gosh. Okay, okay, hey, hey, hey. I'm just gonna sit. I, I just tweaked. Oh, I need to breathe for a second. Why? Why is that a thing, dude? Why is that a thing? Okay. I feel like I have so much pressure. This is the first series and I really don't want to lose it. We've come so far already. All right, let's see. So this should be enough. If it waters out here, I believe it's... Yeah, it will definitely water there. I'm curious over here. Let's go to the chest, get our seeds going. And we'll be good to go there. 64 seeds, great. Um, I believe we also have some bone. We should have some bone. We could just expedite some of this and then start searching for some cows. Oh, beautiful. And then we could also cook some of this raw beef while we're here. Why not, right? Um, we could get some sugar cane growing. Let's just take care of the basics. We do have wheat, so we could go find cows. Let's first plant what we need to plant. Oh, look at that. A CD place. Our first achievement ever. I guess it's not. Um, all right. So, doing pretty effective here. I feel like we've planted about, what is it? 50-ish? 45? So, that's really solid. Dude, where, why? Why? You didn't need to do that. All right. A pretty decent starting farm here. I guess we could plant the rest of them. Um, over here. I wonder if we don't even, because the water's right here. I don't think we need to, let's see, we'll clear this out real quick. I don't think we need to dig down a level like I thought we did. So let's just expand here. See if this water saturates this. And if it does, oh my gosh, we're going to be winning. All right. If not, it's fine. We could still just put a water placement here and like maybe here as well. Honestly, just to be safe. Okay, yeah, no, it's not. So we'll just clear this, take a, a nice water bucket here, and then we'll also clear this and take a nice water here as well. And that should cover all the area. Will it also cover here? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So you can notice I am trying to keep the kind of landscape here because I do like the area. And I think that's a goal of the series. I really want to leverage as much as possible the existing setup that we have. Uh, because I think the most beautiful builds also are the builds that leverage what has already been made. The natural, the natural way of of life. You don't need to change everything, you know? Life is perfect, just as it is. Uh, speaking of which, let's just get our bone meal going. Get a few more. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh, would you look at this? Now we're talking. I didn't know it only took two bone meal. That's kind of strong. All right, so we have a few more seeds. Very solid. We'll save just three seeds. Actually, can we... Yeah, we'll save one more. Feed the chickens. Start expanding that again. Here you go. Thank you very much. No luck there. Unfortunate. Um, let's build out another fence area here for cows and then go find us. Some beautiful cows. We have six wheat, so we can actually start with that. I know we killed the cows in the second episode. I'm sorry, but it's just it's part of the part of the life, you know, as a true farmer. All right, and then we could just combine these, I guess, because I'd rather have a full life than have to deal with switching between during a fight. And then let's see, we're doing good here. We might need more wood. We're short on wood. So let's get that going. Maybe we just take a moment to just like really 
get some wood out of the way. So we don't need to stress about actually going and gathering wood every single time we need wood. Because uh, that would be kind of nice on a regular basis. It will turn to nighttime at some point. And somebody in the comments did help at finding where the days are. So it should be middle bottom area. Oh man. Once I see it the first time, I think we're good. Days, days, days. I I did not read the comment appropriately then. Um, is it on the right side maybe? Left side? Right side? Um <laughs> help. Days. Day four. Day twelve. Find the word day. Alright. We're done finding the word day. We messed up again. I'll have to go reread that comment. Thanks for leaving it anyways. Doesn't mean a lot that you would help a little old person like myself. Alrighty, so we're getting the rest of this wood here. Perfect. We'll do just a few more. I think we're almost at half a stack. Yeah. So we'll be fine here. I'm not too stressed about collecting these saplings. But if they fall, well, let's do it. Because it's good to plant a tree when you take one down. We need to take notes from Minecraft players. You know what I'm saying? Not enough people do that. Oh, there has to be. Yes. Look at this. Only a single one. This is lies. This is lies. All right. We can't sleep yet, so let's build out our fences. I believe if we do this. Oh, what have I done? All right. And then this should be a fence. Perfect. 32 should be more than enough. And then we need a gate. Gate. Fence. Perfect. So it's almost night. Let me sleep, please. We'll start laying it out while nighttime is coming. It's time to move our crafting table. It was great knowing you, but you serve no purpose. One, two, three, four. We should be good here. I'm going to make the cow farm just a little larger. Bigger animals deserve a little bit more space. You know, we're humane animal hoarders here. We don't need to stress about the little stuff. You know, we want that organic grown family. And we can't do that if it's not organic. Beautiful. All right, so let's just get a few more torches here. Would you look at that? We'll place one on the corner here. We'll place one inside. And we'll place one here. And we'll also place one right here. So there's no stress. Now let's go to sleep. We'll get some cows going. And it will be a beautiful start to the next day. Some Z's in the chat. Beautiful. And we're good to go. Let's see which direction we want to take it as far as where cows might be. I think we might get lucky with a nearby spawn because the further away we go, the longer that trek will be. So let's just take a moment. So we have some horses over here. Um, Look at this beautiful morning. What a beautiful day in the Minecraft world. Okay, no cows. Shoot. My guess is probably over this hill. I think we could get really lucky here shortly. Um, fingers crossed, right? All right. Oh, another lava patch? That's amazing. Okay, perfect. And a giant cavern. If we fall, we die. That's just the reality here. Um, I don't like this just being so exposed. I feel like I could really mess up at any point. Um... And we have bees. <laughs> We're winning here. So this is the first time venturing past this spot. Now we do have sheep. You know, since since they're here, I say we actually bring these back and we create a third one. Uh, because for, for the cows, because this is amazing. We have different colored sheep as well. We'll just bring them back for now. 
Um, what happens if you like mate this sheep with this one? Does it create like the in between? I gotta remember that this hole exists over here. Come on, come on, sheepo. Hello. I'm gonna leave you if you don't come. All right, we're leaving him. I believe the hole is right here. Oh no. I'm not a good sheep herder. Come here. Come here, where are you going? Do I need to hold it out to you? This Enderman has to go, man. I'm telling you, get me scared. Hello. Hey, we don't need a jump scare like that. You just keep teleporting around. I'm gonna need you to, to chill out. We'll take some of these here. We need to clear this path because I don't want to accidentally just speed jump into that and uh, experience the loss of, of this world because I'm moving too quickly. All right. Just across this way. Please follow me. Thank you very much. We'll keep on moving. Ah, oh, riveting. Riveting gameplay here. By Cloud himself. Absolutely riveting. I don't believe anything can kill us between now and then, so I can just casually bring them in a line. Would you look at that? I love it when the sheep just line on up here. Dang, okay. So come on over this way. Thank you. Yes, you are doing great. Come on down. Come on down. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. That wasn't that hard, was it? All right. And come on in. Your new home. Okay. One at a time. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Beautiful. One at a time. Come on. <laughs> Please. Oh my gosh. There we go. Perfect. Now, let's go get this other one. Come back here. I didn't mean to. I mean, I did mean to. What are you eating the grass for? Come on over. There you go. Beautiful. We got all four in here. Let me close this and then I'll breed you. Okay. Perfect. Or we should have two babies. And then let's see what this one. Oh, we got a light gray one. Would you look at that? Beautiful. All right, go ahead and eat on up some grass there. Taking care of business, you know? Got some chickens. We're looking great. Keep breeding. You're doing great. All right, and then let's place some sugar cane out here. We'll go back for the cows. Don't worry. Don't worry. This is all temporary here. Part of the process. I haven't forgotten the primary purpose. Because once we get leather, we can actually start making some good stuff. At least I think. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to wait to play. No, I should really play sugar cane. What am I doing? Procrastinating. Let's do it, though. Hmm. You know, let's actually put it back over there. That's probably the best option for us. For right now. Although it probably will be out of the chunk of growing. Um... Or we could just place it right here. Look at this. Beautiful area for us to start growing. Nobody said it had to be pretty, okay? But I actually think this will be pretty. Yeah, we're going to have like a wall of sugar cane right here. It's going to feel deceptively, very deceptively, uh... Supportive, you know? <laughs> it's going to feel very, very good on the soul. Okay. Yep. We are good to go here. Let's just grab some of this. I know. I'm sorry. I was thinking about live streaming some of the coal collecting and cobblestone collecting and resource collecting aspects of the game. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just hoping people throw this on in the background. And, you know, it, it helps bring some ease to their life and maybe cause some introspective thinking or whatever else that comes from it. As long as people are enjoying themselves, I think that's a massive win. Uh, because that's what I care about in life now. It's just helping you guys through whatever you're going through. Because, uh, I don't know. I feel like there's not enough people doing that. You're not alone. 
I think that's the important part out of all of this. It's easy to think we are. Um, but in today's world, especially with the internet, like I got you, you know, we're in this thing together. So yeah, with that said, I appreciate you more than you know, and I'm grateful you're here. So let's set up this last oak fence. We'll get a few more going. Should we just, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to turn all this. Jeez. We'll take a little bit from each of these piles. So then we have some left and we'll make some more fences. Perfect. And then we'll do a gate here. Beautiful. So let's make our last one, the cow one, even larger, even better than it was before. All right. One more here. We'll put the doorways close, you know? I feel like, I feel like they deserve that. Perfect. All right. So now we have enough for that. Let's go get ourselves a cow. It's what we've been waiting for here, right? And we'll place torches along the way. Because nothing like a good old safe, safe proof arena for us to live in. I don't care what it looks like right now, okay? We'll we'll deal with it later. We'll put all the like the, the glowstone underneath carpets and stuff like that. But right now, safety. Safety is key. And we need to remember right here, there's a giant hole. I hope that remember reminds me. Caution. Caution. You know, actually, instead of doing this and wasting all these torches, <laughs> like I just did, maybe we just put like a two-layer wall later. That's what we're going to do. Uh, we'll, we'll take down that stuff in a minute. Oh, no. Am I going to be able to get these cows back in time? Let's see. Oh, my gosh. Is that a pink biome? Oh, I didn't even know we were near a pink biome. This is the area that just keeps giving. Like, I... What? I love it. I love it. Also, how do I collect honey? That's never something I've really learned. Oh, I need to be more careful when I'm just running around like that. That could have been really bad. I'd be so mad if that's how I go out. All right, let's just clear this cave out. I actually want to go back and sleep. Um, let's just see if we can spot any cows in this area. Otherwise, we're really going to have to traverse quite a bit. Um, caves, more caves. All right, we're going to start traversing back. I don't want to deal with any mobs at night and having to stress about getting back safely. Especially this early on in the series, I feel like, you know, you can yell at me for being a pansy. I don't care. I want this series to last as long as possible and it being a hardcore one. Makes it kind of scary for me, you know, you know, you know, if you know, if you've ever played hardcore, you know that there's a layer of, of like a terrifying element that anything could just go out of favor and you'd be left with nothing, nothing left. So we're doing it. We're doing it the hard way, but we're doing it the right way as well. 40. Perfect. And we'll go to sleep here. Z's in chat. Type Z in chat if you're here. Uh, I'm just curious how many people are actually watching this long. <laughs> uh, not an engagement bait, I swear. It's I'm just genuinely curious. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Look, look, look. You, hey, hey, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Look, I'll give you some food. Okay, you guys aren't ready. Understood. Not everybody's ready, and it's okay. I'll feed you two, though. That's good. We'll get some more wheat. Did I just mess up? I just gave away our only wheat. What am I doing? I'm feeding. Are there any bones that we could grab? Oh, what have I done? What have I done? All right. Maybe, just maybe, we're going to get lucky and find a cow over here. Just so we know where. Help me. Help me help you. 
This series can't progress without some cows, you know? Also, I need to figure out how to actually flavor the... Wait, hold on. Not flavor. Uh, get get the sheep into different flavors and different colors. <laughs> wow. Using the word flavor for changing the color of them is absolutely crazy. Um, wow. Look at this landscape. Minecraft is a beautiful game. You can't tell me otherwise. Did we kill off all the cows on this island? Let's see. We're going to run this way. I need to remember that home is like that way. So. Worst case, we're going to just collect some, some uh, wool here. Just in case we need to sleep. I don't intend to be gone for that long, but you can never be too safe, right? And the last thing I want to do is have to find sheep when it's pitch black out. Or dig a hole and not be able to survive. So. Oh, that's even cooler. Maybe we, we're going to build a house at, at some point right there. At some point. We're going to colonize all of this. It's colonization season. You know what I'm saying? It is colonization season. What a time to be alive. For a cloud video. Maybe this could be like a blacksmith area. Oh, I don't know. That's so cool. All right, we'll go this way now. Exploring the lands. Hopefully finding something cool. Along the way, we'll grab some wood and stuff. So naturally, we, we can do some deforestation. Wow, that is really cool how that works. All right. Cow, oh my gosh, we found two. Okay. That is quite a distance away from home. Actually, no, it's not. It's right across the lake here. What a beautiful sight. Hopefully no drowner in here. Is this a whole cavern down here even? With lapis. Oh my. This place just keeps on delivering. Let's see if we can get the uh, dolphin to uh, give us some super speed here. Oh, did we? I think we just did. Yeah, look at us flying. Oh, hello. What an amazing gift. Thank you so much. All right. We made it home. We have a piece of wheat. <laughs> Let's... Is it? It is. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Oh, no. What have I done? It wasn't ready. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. We're going into the caves. We're going to get this stupid bone meal. Oh my gosh, I'm throwing. It's part of the journey, right? Right, we're together in this. Let's see. Simon says, Skeleton appear. Oh, I missed that emerald up there. That's kind of cool. All right. Some more iron up there I missed. Any skeletons? Skeleton, please appear. All right, we're going to grab this iron if it's right here. Oh, look at that. The gift that keeps on giving. Just like your subscription. You give me subscription, I give you more videos. That's the trade-off. Do you think we can manage that? I think so. Um... There used to be a creeper over here. I want to be careful. There's some good old emerald up here that we should grab. You know, maybe we don't want to just <laughs> save spawn everything around here. <laughs> Guess that means we'll never get these. Oh, look, the first one with two, two emeralds in one place. Um, We won't be able to get any bones. And that wouldn't be fun, right? Okay. We're still going to save spawn everything. I don't care. If it means that we have to go elsewhere to get bones or wait an extra second, I will manage it. It's for the better. Because we're smart. Oh, gosh. I swear my, my gut just drops anytime I hear a mob. There's a creeper there. Oh, would you look at that? Okay. Here's our enemy.
Bones, let's go. We did it. All right, let's get on back to the house. At this point, I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure that the wheat has grown, but at least we got some extra work done around here. All right. Man, I'm just so much just enjoying this stuff so much like I really really I'm so excited to bring Minecraft deeper into this channel. I've been toying with the idea of posting Terraria every three days instead of uh, two, which would give more space for Minecraft to actually shine on this channel. Um, because I think long term, Terraria is a great game. I don't want it to become the main of this channel. Uh, I want it to be a nice mix of everything. So I think that's what we're going to do. And we got a bow. Look at that. We can finally get enough wheat to get these cows over here and take on the world. Is this wheat grown? Now it is. Beautiful. And since we're here, we'll just do this. And now we have enough to even start breeding them. All right. So we will go back on over here. Is there a way up? No, there's not. We need to go around this. The sun will be setting soon. Kind of nervous about that because we will be bringing cows back, but at least we can get them some of the distance. Maybe, hopefully more. I'm not quite sure yet, but one can hope, right? One can hope. All right, so we're just going to get on up over here. Come on over. Where's this cow at, boy? Where are you, where are you chilling? Oh, two sheep over here. We might even end up picking up some sheep along the way. Hello. Yup. Yup. Yes. Yes, that is correct. We have two cows. The Minecraft gods have given it to us. We were close to having to really traverse this world to get some, but the last two in the area. Oh no, it's starting to rain. Hopefully no thunderstorms. Okay, we need to keep an eye on that sun. Come on. Come on. Oh, I hate when it rains. I hate it so much. Come on. Come on, fellas. You know, just for the sake of this, I think these sheep are slowing us down. No, no, no. Come back. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Where's the sun? Oh, no. We need to hurry. Come on through. Come on. We're speedrunning. Speedrun, speedrun. I need you to move faster with me here. All right. We still got two of them. Come on. Once we get to those torch lines, we're kind of safer. I need you to work with me here. Are we going to work through the night? Or are we going to let the mobs win? All right. Hurry up. You don't need to spin. Come on, we're almost there. So close. I can breathe. I can feel it. Come on. It's almost night. We don't need this. Hurry. We've made it to the line. To the line of safety. Oh my gosh. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, that was a lot closer than I thought it would be. Okay. So, I'll bring you on over here. Now the rain feels good. When it's raining in Minecraft, it's such a great feeling unless you're not safe. And I was very vulnerable there. Because if I were to switch to my axe, then we'd have more issues. And you know the whole deal. All right. Come on. We're almost there. Hello. Thank you. Clueless cows sometimes, I swear. Come on in. Come on in. Hello. Come on. There's a better way to do this, guys. There's a much better way to do this. Oh my gosh. Come on in. Alright, perfect. Oh, would you look at that? What are the odds? Okay. 
And now we can make them and we have a beautiful farm growing. We have everything we need to start. We have our sheep, we have our chickens, we have our cows. And our third cow has just grown up into a big boy. And I'm so very, very excited for us to get the foundations of this season just out of the way. It feels like a victory. Uh, everything in hardcore feels like a mini victory. And I'm so glad that you're here to do it with me. So, we've made it together. Z's in chat for the fourth, fifth, seventh time. Whatever it is, I'm so very grateful that you decided to join along in this video. And if you made it this far, you know what to do. Hit like, hit subscribe. I appreciate you for joining along on this journey with me and making my childhood dream come true. My inner child happy. That's you, right. That, I mean, that's right. I, like You are literally doing that for me just by watching this. So thank... Oh my... What a what? I didn't know rainbows could happen. And that's a sign right there. Thank you so much for joining along on this journey. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.